Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe um, Photoshop Elements 11 to create uh, a bokeh effect which is, um, bokeh is a Japanese word which basically means blur. So you would have your um, subject in focus, for example if it was a wedding picture you would have the bride in focus and then you might have her guests behind. Um, for this video I've used a dress image um, and on that I'm just going to show you how to blur out the background which is basically some trees um, and we've got a bit of light going through so you'll be able to see um, the image right now. Okay and then I will go through how we do this. Okay guys, so I'm back um, and I'm just going to run through how I um, achieve this simple, simple effect. It's so easy. Um, so basically all I'm going to do is go into Finder, open up Applications and open up um, Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. This will now take you to a page where it's got organiser or loader. So we want to open the photo editor as we're going to be doing some editing. I've killed it. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, and then I'm just going to go to file and open. And I'm going to open up my image, which I've just popped onto my memory stick. There we go. Okay, so there we go. There's our uh, image that we're going to use. Okay, so um, we're going to go on the guided um, section of Photoshop Elements 11. Um, and the first thing that we do is we open Depth of Field. And we're going to go Custom. And you'll get a quick selection tool. Now you can do this with the mouse. I use um, a tablet um, such as this one. You can use any tablet that you like, whatever's easiest. So what I'm going to do now is I've selected the quick selection tool. You can change brush size, etc. And I'm just going to go round the dress. Very simple. Now it's done a good job of selecting it as easy as it can. When you've gone over here, for example, on the leaves, you just hold Alt in, and then we're going to drag the line down. So we get a nice, neat line. There we go. Okay, it's a bit better. Um, and there's just a little bit here. just holding it all in you can use it to sort of like a rubber almost and, and rub out um, but it basically all the quick selection tool is is it just looks for areas of light and it just sort of follows a pattern here as you can see I've just gone slightly into the white so we just want to um, get our pointer and just pull it out just a slight little bit more don't hold up for this because you um, making it wider, screwing a little bit there. The light's really sensitive there as the grass is like got a glimmer of sunlight on it, which is making it almost white. Okay, so there we go. Next, we're going to click and blur. The blur will um, go on the surrounding area, as you can see there. And then you can use the slider to increase the blur or to decrease the blur I'm just going to use around I think five maybe four I'm actually happy with three okay so click done 
And there you go, there it is. There's your bokeh effect dress. Um, you can go a little bit wacky with this. Um, you can go stronger, lighter. It doesn't have to be wow. You can seriously tell that you've done it. It can just be a little bit um, just to create that subtle effect. So that's it for now, guys. Um, let me know if you want to see any other videos. Um, and I'll be trying to make them as simple as I can.